All right, so I'm gonna be working on my 2012 Chevy Equinox. I'm gonna be changing the rear brake pads. I was uh, driving down the road the other day and noticed a squeal and checked them and they are low. So we'll be switching those out. got two 14 millimeter bolts, one here and one here. One of my bolts got stuck, so I had to use a 17 millimeter here and then a 14 millimeter on the back and then just twist opposite way. You'll get the bolt to break, but this one slid out easily. And you can go ahead and just wiggle that right off. And you don't want this caliber to hang, so I would just set it off right on that arm there and so that the pressure is not hanging on that. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead, I don't know if it's necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and remove my cap and then that way when I collapse the caliper that fluid can freely just raise up. So the brake fluid caps just right back here. And I'm just going to use a pry tool to pull off my brake pad. You can see the old brake pad here. to do is I'm just going to set that there like so and I'm going to take my clamp here and screw that down into a little tight Caliper. See it slowly going in there. And that's collapsed all the way. This other clamp here, and this other brake pad. And take off these brackets. It's on. It'll just clip right into place. Turn your rotor. 
make sure those aren't rubbing at all. I'm gonna put the pad with the squealer bar on the back. And then the one without the squealer bar on the front. apply this brake grease to the front and back of each of these brakes. So you'll just get a little bit on your finger and rub it on the face of each brake pad. Then you'll take the calipers and set that into place. fasten both 14 millimeter bolts and you're gonna have to tighten those you're gonna have to take a 17 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter and just kind of pull opposite directions and that'll tighten up. Go ahead and sit in the car, press on the brake pedal until you feel some resistance and then put your brake fluid cap back on. You're ready to throw that tire back on. Make sure you use the star pattern when tightening down those lug nuts. Repeat this process on the other side. And uh, I've got all of the links to all the tools and products I used in my comments section. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks.